My belly button hurts. Let me see it. Well, you did just get. Let me see the belly button. Let me see the scars. It just kind of hurts. Whoa! Actually, well, it looks a lot better than what it did. It just the belly. Button, I don't know. It just stings a little bit. The belly button. The belly button scar where they went inserted through my belly button. They went in the belly button hole. Isn't that fascinating? That like, is crazy. In the, we're going in the hole. <laughs> like go around, go somewhere else. But like maybe because the, they didn't want to put an extra scar, like that's visible. Okay, good point. You know what but I mean? But they did have three holes. Didn't they have three holes in you? Or no? Or yeah, but one? you know, you get rid of one. When I was getting my appendix removed, so a woman was giving like birth like in the hospital. Oh, next to there. you? Not oh, that's exciting. directly next to me, but strolled on by. No, you're just like, breathe. She was, that, the woman was tiny though. Like that baby was like, I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, are you ready to have this baby? And the look on the woman's face. <laughs> was it a boy or a girl? I don't know. I don't know. I was focused about my appendix. <laughs> hmm. I know, but it would help you like to relieve some of the pain to think about somebody else. Do y'all have any weird scars? No, my shins are messed up from BMX. That's the only thing. Like competitive BMX? Where did you get competitive? <laughs> so you were just doing a lot of non-competitive BMX and busted Yeah, for up. fun. Come like on. You're a kid. <laughs> yeah, you're riding a BMX bike. You think, doing, like, you think jumps kids and shit? Are, okay, kids are just riding oh, their say, bikes, pretending they're in BMX. BMX is a whole Like a BMX thing. bike. Wait, if I say I have a fucking uh, a dirt bike, that doesn't mean I'm a fucking super cross. <laughs> I think B, if you're doing BMX, you're entering some competitions. Like, okay, go on. What tricks could you do on your BMX bike? A lot of bunny hops. Tell you that much. We used to have we used to have this thing on the sidewalk. Me and my brother and like our friends, we would have two sticks, and then we had uh, a ruler measured out on the side of each stick, and then we would raise the bar <laughs> at at different like levels, and we would ride on the sidewalk and we'd bunny hop over it, oh, and we'd see who can shit. get like the high. And there would be a stick, and if you knocked it over, like oh you didn't get it. Um, but yeah, we had that, and then we had these like ramps that we built. I used to go to like a skate park. There was a skate park. So you were really out there doing the damn thing. Yeah, I really liked it. I'm sorry. I so guess. you, so I you have. So I'm guessing <laughs> I'm there was one bunny hop where you did not make, and you have a scar from that. Well, if your if your feet slip off the pegs, it kicks back and it'll just whip you right in the shin. Ooh. And the the pegs have metal spikes on it, so it grips your shoes. Mm. So that it literally would spin around and just whack you right in the shin, and it would stick. And then you have to, like, and you'd have, like, a huge hole from a spike that, like, hit you. Oh. They're God. all over my shin. You got to show me after. Re remember that Remember that show um, on MTV called Scarred? Yo, where they yeah. would show oh, all oh, these yeah. fucking nasty Yo, what's accident. up? It's Jacoby, oh, and this oh is Scarred. Oh, God. That was the best. That it, that type of show, you'd sit there like this every time because you want to like, yeah. see it. But the accidents are so, so nasty. Such a Where it just show. makes you never want to hop on a skateboard or hop on a bike or hop on anything. The arms. It's like, I'm fine. I should I should have been on an episode of Scarred with my accident. Oh, yeah. That was traumatizing. Huh? That oh. was traumatizing. So you broke your elbow? When I snapped my elbow, yeah. I don't care that you broke your elbow. I'm okay. going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I don't care that you I broke I have your two elbow. scars from... Two different buffets. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Two different. Shut up. Wait, Shut up. I mean, just realized. What do you mean two different buffets? <laughs> <laughs> While eating. On a this one's, I just checked to see if it was still there. It's very <laughs> just faint. reaching for the back. Just. <laughs> it's very faint. Oh, oh. I was, on, well, I was on a cruise when I was maybe ten. <laughs> And I was reaching for the French toast and the top is really hot. So I burned the whole top part. It's very faint. It's just this dark <laughs> patch right here. And then this one here was working at Panda in the, oh, was just in about the line. Ask. And I went to like pick up the pan to change it out. And it scarred me. Ooh. You ever seen Lunch you Lady never... Battle Wounds? Their hands are messed is up. Is this like a subreddit? Oh. <laughs> oh no, it's a real thing. Yeah. Lunch Lady Battle Wounds. <laughs> Messed up her mom. It's only an Instagram page. Scars everywhere. Oh my! Burnt you but you've never burnt arms. yourself in your kitchen only at a buffet. No, I have. But I'm surprised I don't have more scars. I flipped on a four wheeler once into like a ravine, and I don't have anything from that. Woo. Wait, you, I walked away without a scratch. It was. You, I'm sorry. Repeat that. What's a ravine? <laughs> <laughs> like a ditch. Did, yeah, no, a ditch. A did, ditch. Did I hear you're in a car and it flipped? Four wheeler. Four -wheeler. Oh, four wheeler. Yeah. Oh, I, which is Jesus. which is scarier than a car. Do you guys know about the scar that I have under my chin? I, this I mean, is, I how long? We've been talking. Should we run oh, this intro? intro, intro. Yeah, yeah. How long have we been talking? Uh, when when no it gets fun. to me, nobody cares. All right. Uh, actually, I've I've been timing us since we started. <laughs> Let's run it. It's, it's coming down, baby. Woo! Spooky, spooky Halloween. <laughs>
Welcome back to Zane and Heath on Filter! On Filter! I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm okay. <laughs> and I'm we are alive unfiltered. and breathing and unfiltered. Guys. First episode of October. Great, great set. Yeah. This is awesome. I really do feel like I'm in this season. Yeah, they did. Jordan and Leah put in a lot of work into this room. You that guys can't amazing. really see the whole room, but there's cobwebs it's everywhere. everywhere. We got freaking bats. Freaking love Halloween. We got pumpkins Frickin everywhere. Bats. Last year, we only had a bowl of pumpkins, so we've really amped it up this year. Yeah, I'm we really went a little bit that. more um, just festive. Yeah, a little bit more festive. And we're also all wearing orange and brown. Autumn <laughs> autumn colors. See, so, is this brown? Yeah, yeah it's, it's brown. It's gold. I'm sorry. Golden brown. No, that's well, very it's, fall. It's, yeah, it's, very, it's, a fall, it's a fall color. Thanks, guys. It's, it's a fall vegetable. You were just you have a fall glow about you. You think so? Yeah, yeah. like every what year. What season are we all? He, yeah, Matt's definitely Yo, your autumn. Your fall is. F yeah, your autumn, fall for sure. I get winter from Zane. I like that. You winter, give winter Zane. vibes. Okay, I, I, I like that. Yeah. I think I think you're you're spring to me. Zane's you're like spring. Zane's like that blue jean. Remember like Zane's blue, old blue jean jacket with like the hoodie like yeah. attached to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. one that was built in. Yes. What was that? Oh, I love that shit. By I the know. way, I, I know. do too. Think you I, have love, it. I love the t-shirts with the built-in long sleeves. I love that. Stop. I love. That. I love the. I want to actually bring that. I'm back. gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back too. Next week, let's. I'm gonna all bring it back. I, I also want to do two tone. Where you wear like a dark color and a light color love at the same that. time as yeah, an outfit. Really good oh, yeah, I mono, love that. monochrome. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. That's like something Ooh. that like I feel like I can like pull like I can bring yeah. it back. I got my first pair of Wrangler pants. Dungarees. 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 What what there's no dungaree Dun written on the damn Dungaree pant. is a brand. Oh, it says is it? Wranglers. No, I'm We're just <laughs> <laughs> It's Wranglers, not a dungaree. We're saying dungarees. Oh. Dungarees is just funny. If you I ask dad. me what dungaree because I don't know right now what dungarees are. Dungaroos. The can No, dungarees dun are jeans. Oh, jeans. I thought Okay, if you ask me what dungarees were, it's like the um overalls. It's the overalls with like the law like the, the pants that start from here. You know what I'm talking about? The overalls. <laughs> no, no, like it's not like overalls. It's like the the it's, Do you know what overalls is? Yes, I know what overalls. What are. is an overall? What is an overall? It's, an overall, to a it's like the sh the denim overalls that people wear. Like okay, the, and a dungaree is and what? A and dungaree what is like the fucking. It's the. It's like, like I've seen pants? like the black. It's it, it's a black like thing, and then it's. It's like a certain material. Um, like hunting pants? Oh, bro, you talking about waders. Whatever. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, that's what I thought dungarees were. Like high, high waisted pants with overalls? No, them should start from here. This is like what we wore when we went sloshing through the through the oh, through those the Everglades. Are waders, right? Waiters are just waterproof overalls. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I thought dungarees were. Zane, you were saying you have a scar under your chin. I do. Share the story. You know about it? Yeah. No, I don't. You I don't, don't think I've seen your chin. Is that why you always have a beard? <laughs> um, This is back always. back then why I- He puts it on every day. This is you why- You mean he puts on- This is why I always wanted a beard back then because I, I got into an accident when I was like, what was it? Like nine, 10? And it was just so ugly. It was right here. It was just like a white line right Stitches? on my chin. Yeah, I had stitches. Uh, so I was, I used to have to always go with my dad to his soccer games. And I, I always had to just wait for him every game because who's I couldn't. Who was playing soccer? Your dad? My dad. Your dad was playing soccer. That was yeah. role reversal. Cool. My Did dad, you have to give out like chips and uh, chip He brought snacks. the orange slices. <laughs> like everybody no, no, it's no, it just my dad was on like an older soccer team. So I, he Muslim was, league, not a Muslim league. Okay. It was an old, it was an older, oh older God. squad. We're like, never getting through like, this. Matt. <laughs> older squad. It was like my dad and like his. You you know those older my okay, dad, gentlemen's my dad, league. Like my dad played softball. Yeah, it was like it's a fucking. Softball. It was an old yeah. guy thing. Yeah. So I would, he would have to take me because nobody there was nobody to watch me at home, <laughs> and I would wear my fucking cleats. I uh, bring my cleats with me when I wasn't playing soccer. Aww. I just wore them because I wanted to be like my dad. Yeah. So I would wear my cleats and remember there, I think it's still, they still have it today. L those gold nets that are like those orange shitty fucking like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the metal pipes that like, yeah, I think so. The I, I, it's the same thing, right? So I would like sit there, play with like cleats like on it. And one time I got like, <gasps> I got stuck and I was like, Oh, and I fucking landed right on the metal pipe on oh my chin. My gosh. It was, I fell hard. Like I had, like I didn't stop myself. I went straight to the pool mm. and then I ended the game. I felt so bad. <laughs> whole game done. They ended the whole game and they had to rush me to the hospital. My chin was like open. It oh was like, God. I looked like the predator <laughs> with, my, with, my, with my chin like this. And they had to, um, 
and I sat there and they had to stitch it up and I looked like I had, so the stitches that I had for like two weeks, it looked like I had a small beard, like a tiny little <laughs> oh, prickly oh, beard. Oh, just a little hair? Yeah, yeah I, was, oh, like he, I had like blue You know hairs. he went to school like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had that, but it made, it, it looked so ugly and I had that for like a good amount, of, a good amount of months. Just like that nasty fucking- How old were you? I think I was like nine or 10. Oh, at wow. This time when the, when it do, you, do you know what I hate about getting injured is not knowing when the next time you're gonna get injured is. Like, do you think you're gonna break another bone in your life? I hope not. I, hope I don't not think I either. am. I think I'm like much more same, careful now. Same, but you never fucking- I have like a fear of getting hurt now. I'm like I don't like getting hurt. Like, I've never had stitches, broken, sprained, nothing. That's I'm not very good. surprised. So in my head, every day I'm like, when's it gonna happen? It's gotta happen. Like everybody, it's like when people talk about everyone gets into a car accident once or whatever, like I'm still like, I feel like it's a waiting game. Aren't you less prone to getting like hurt because you're flex more flexible? <laughs> Which I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, like she I dodges it. If me and her are doing I mean, a, do a ton of stunts, right? Yeah. Imagine me and Mariah are doing all this crazy shit. Yeah, you're more, yeah. You're I'm definitely, more, definitely prone. more prone to getting, fucking listen to me, man. I am. I'm, <laughs> I'm like trying to fucking I'm speak to you. I follow you. But you, you've done it like 10 times. It's so aggressive. Like I'm trying I'm to get something. I'm hamming up the bit. No, you're not hamming it. I gotta okay. repeat you myself. You can also Zane. talk to both of them. <laughs> trying. Wait, Zane, you're more prone than me. Yes, yeah. because I'm more flexible. But if I'm trying riskier things because I'm more advanced, yeah. you know, you're 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 better like, uh, the, the more flexible, like with pulling a muscle, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Cause like I'm so you, stiff. Like, like I can't even fucking lift a weight without like- <laughs> Right, like you'll throw your back out yeah. or like pull a hamstring way more likely than she would. Um, but, but breaking but a bone- But I could like hurt my neck, my wrist, my ankles. Yeah, right. Like I feel like if, if Mike had her in her arms and threw her over his shoulder, like he did with me, I feel like she could have survived that easy. Like no, no more, nothing. Maybe. But the way you fell, you actually did the right thing and tucked your head and rolled. I know it was your arm, oh, but it, you. it saved your neck. Instinct was there. Yeah, your instincts were there. But it could have been worse. You heard that, y'all? But knock on, knock on wood. I don't want this to be another appendix thing where <laughs> tomorrow I wake up. Do you do you watch people like? I don't know if you guys have had this feeling, but I always I always thought something really bad was going to happen to me. Okay. Um, and I always see TikToks of people that are like 25, 30 years old, and it shows them like they get into some sort of accident and, they and they're they're paralyzed. Like I'm always like thinking about God, I like if if that happened to me. You uh, know? sure. Like, I, I do, I do like, have those thoughts, but then if it does that, happen, I'm like, but I'm like, but what it's are that the feeling odds? of like, oh, I beat it, it didn't happen to me, but there's still like a chance down the road. You know, or something. I don't know. I'm always just worried that I'm gonna like walk through some doorway and something's just gonna fall <laughs> on me and like, or just a piano is just gonna like slip and fall and I'm crushed. That's that's exactly what I think about when I'm like crossing an intersection every time. What in the, the spirits? Don't like that we're fucking. We're yeah, I don't want to talk about appropriating, this especially like, during this time. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> be safe, but don't be a don't be a wuss. So, <laughs> don't be a fucking bitch. But challenge yourself. So, <laughs> we, <laughs> so anything crazy happened over the weekend? Where were you guys? You were in San Francisco. Yeah, I so I went to a Portola uh, Festival in San Francisco. That sounds like a really good restaurant. Portola? Oh, Porto, 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 it Portillo's. Sounds like Portillo's. It sounds like Portillo's. Oh, okay, good, okay, good. Okay. It sounds like a Portobello mushroom. <laughs> sounds like a porta potty. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually Port, L I think it's Port LA. I think that was, oh. because uh, like the logo is Port with the earth and then LA. So I think it has something to do with. Portola is it's the on a, It's on a port, it's like on a hangar. Like it, it's Portola. I think the name the, is Portola, but it's a were, were you at a port? Was, yeah, was there was oh there was boats. Y yeah, it's like was it was it the port to L.A. <laughs> maybe maybe port. But well, this was San Francisco. But it was like where, it's like oh, a yeah. giant ship. Like where like no, they but, take but they can have ports from L.A. to San Francisco. Like that's the L.A. port that takes you to San Francisco. But it was the Portola Festival. This is yeah. okay. We're okay. trying to break it down. We're trying okay. to we're trying to break down why it's called Portola. Think gonna be like we're feeding the bit, Matt. But it's oh, okay. yeah, we're feeding the bit. <laughs> We're um so it was a first we're hamming it up hamming it up sorry so we uh it's the first festival it's a brand new festival that they just launched in San Francisco and it's like an house music type I don't like I didn't really understand the festival but it was the first one so I feel like their budget was probably a little lower so they couldn't like invite like the biggest artists yeah but um it was still fun it was a it was a very interesting crowd and it was over twenty one so like you saw no it wasn't like Coachella you didn't right. see all ages it was just like. 
certain well, demographic nice. there. Yeah, no, it was it was it was really nice, and we had and happy we had hour happy there. Hour. We had happy hour there, which Woo! was amazing. We got to we got to sell Thank it there. You. And you were there? No, I couldn't make it. Oh, okay, but it was so cool walking around the whole festival and. So many people had this in their hands. Wow. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. Cool. It was every, really and cool. Everybody just noses are bleeding. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so not only did we have like our own like section where they serve we serve just happy hour, but it was in every single bar around the entire festival. Wow. So people were going up and like choosing happy hour. Like people <gasps> that didn't cool. even so that was really cool. When it, they could have cho chosen like six other like drinks that you can have there. How much was each drink? They're actually because well, it's a it's, festival, they festivals charge. So I know, much. I know. It's insane. Seventeen dollars a drink for one happy hour. It, it was all. It was all drinks. Every drink was seventeen dollars. But th this isn't happy hours price. This is a fest the festival's price. How is that possible? It's insane. Me, like uh, like football games, baseball games. How are they able to charge that much for because a beer? People are gonna because eat people are going to buy it. Yeah. You can't. You can't come in with drinks. You can't come in with food. You got to eat something. I get if you charge that much and you let them bring stuff in. But does you know what I mean? But you can't be like, no, you can't bring that in. Oh, if you want it, seventeen. I know, like, but it's like, all right, don't don't come to the game then. Have fun are at they home. trying it's to? Like, aren't they trying to meet something? Like, if a stadium just opens up, the prices are really really high because they still have to pay off the stadium, right? Mm. They're probably and yeah. Then trying once to you recruit. get to a point where like that's why you have like toll roads is because they're the toll road is still trying to raise money to pay for the the road that they built, right? And then but I heard that keep sometimes going. a toll can yeah, go away stop. because the road has been paid for, and then you put the toll on the new road. Then what is our taxpayer's dollar like doing? You tell me, apparently it's not enough where they have to keep doing it. I don't know. I always thought that's why, I don't know. And then I may, I may be so wrong. I may be so how, wrong. How much are drinks at Coachella? I can't like a $14, 14, 13, 14. 13 okay, dollars. so that's cheaper. So maybe it, because it is a new festival, they have to like up it just so they can make that money back from, hmm. cause they probably don't break the, the, the revenue is probably right. very, the net. How is the is that, that is their problem. Maybe that's an investment. You're going to have to work. Oh years no, I'm years. not on their <laughs> side. I'm not on their side. I think it's ridiculous that they charge that much for a fucking drink. Over there. Were the lines long? <sighs> Isn't it weird? I looked at, I looked at you like you were there. <laughs> It was it was still it was still pretty long. Yeah. There was it was forty five to fifty five thousand attendees there. Isn't it weird when you're at a festival and suddenly that drink that is fourteen dollars, suddenly you like you do make compromises with it where yeah. you're like, that's expensive. Oh, well, still, I'm buying that shit. Like, you, you still tap in and pay it's, for it's it. It's because people that go to festivals, they are in their head, they know they're spending a lot of money. They're saving a lot of money for this week yeah. because tickets are ready. You're spending already $400 for the weekend, and you're saving an extra $400 just for drinks. And, stuff, and they know that. So they're going to up that. You know, you just got to do what you got to do. It's, I just get frustrated knowing that there's free drinks somewhere and someone's getting <laughs> I, to if enjoy I can talk to somebody. all of it. Like <laughs> They're handing out free waters everywhere, which was nice. Oh, that's nice. Free See, waters everywhere. That's, that's good. good. That's, that's good. Yeah, I like that. When I saw it, I was like, that's... Nobody should ever have to pay for water at a festival. I think water should just be free in general. Everywhere. At a festival. Oh, everywhere. yeah. Yeah. So at the bars, they're charging two bucks, which is still pretty cheap. Compared to like yeah. other festivals. So $2 at the bar, but like in the, um, when you, if you're watching a show, handing out waters everywhere. Cool. Wow. That's nice. I like that. That is good. That what's, was a What's your, what's your favorite, favorite water? Oh, it's, wait, if we listen to the, the water, uh, <laughs> is sommelier. Like um, I like that. Um, this like that is Iceland just water. Spring, only spring water. Do you like the bottle or do you actually like the water? Cause I think the bottle makes Bottle's you like nice. what's inside. Well, I obviously first time I grabbed it was for the bottle. Cause it looks gorgeous. Mm. But my cousin came to visit me and she was surprised to see that water here because she just got back from Iceland and that's actually their water. That's her water, like that's- Just casual what, what water. Brand? Wow. What brand? Icelandic. It's, oh, that's Icelandic. great. That's yeah. that's from spring or glacier water, right? It's glacier water. Yeah, so it's not purified. But purified that's what, water. in Iceland, that's what they actually drink. Like yeah. that's just yeah. their water there. Yeah. So that, like that's insane. That water and the Poland, Poland Springs? Polish. What, Polish Springs. Polish Spring, I think that it is, good. right? So good. Or no, it might be Poland. Something and, like that. Uh, what's the black and red one? It has a cross Essentia. on it. Essentia. What's that one y'all got down in Florida that looks like a disease? It's like <laughs> Zephyrillus. Zephyr Hills, baby. <laughs> Zephyr, dude, I cannot believe that he just said it like that. Like it's not co that common. Yeah. Zephyr you know, Hills. I remember being at your house in Fort Lauderdale and I opened Zephyr up your fridge Hills. and I was like, Zephyrillus? You, like, what is this? You've like, never it, heard of Zephyr Hills it looks water? Like syphilis. It was like. Dude, Zephyr Hills water? Is like, like to like us, that's home. like drinking uh, like Nestle water. It's it's, it's so like Ozarka common. in Texas. We drink Ozarka. Oh, 
That's so. I thought like Zephyr Hills. Look at Mariah. Look at this. Don't you think it looks like it's like a oh, Zephyr Hills? Like it looks like no. It, no. It looks like oh. you got prescribed that, the medicine. Yeah. Oh, oh my wait. god. Wait, <laughs> that does look it. like they changed it. Wait, no, go. it's always been like no, that. Zane. No, no, Jordan, find the older version of Zephyr Hills. Oh, I think liquid, that's liquid death is so good. And Evian. Oh, I love water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks Z like your doctor prescribed yeah, it with wait, some medicine. That, that doesn't look the same. Does that? I don't think that's what it looked like. Yes, Zane. It always looks like that. Zephyrillus. Zephyrillus? It, it just put a space that. in the middle. Yes. Wait, Zane, it kind of looks like ranch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, why we liked it. that's why we like this so much. Zephyr. Zephyrillus. Like, they they, they <laughs> couldn't capitalize the H. Or like, space it. Or space it. They just go, nope. Okay. Do you see the Jordan? Go, nope, right to the right. Anything in any water in that bottle is terrible. I hate that, I do that not shape like of those that water bottle. bottles. Mm mm. It looks like it just expanded and like the, the ridges are gone. It just makes you feel like you're holding a giant dildo. Oh. I There's are, something about bottles like that where it makes you feel like you're holding a sex toy. Oh, I do like pure life. I keep that Dude, in the house. I get like weird now, like thinking about just how much plastic and trash in the world there is. I get it. No, that's <laughs> I get fine. It. That's fine. Oh, Crystal Guys. But I'm talking about like 12, 12 water bottles. Th that is bottom of the barrel, oh. baby. <laughs> you, you remember when you slapped the bag off? when drinking wine? <laughs> I hate that everybody's like drink water and then you start drinking water and then there's people like don't drink Not this water because it's bad and then I every, hate that. you got water. you got people saying this water's bad they're saying this water's bad oh, you don't even terrible. and then I'm like I'll, I'll drink give me a diet coke if, yeah. you sh if you're going to no. get water <laughs> give drink me water that coke. comes from spring or that has mineral water in it spring purified water. Okay. water is just glorified tap water you are basically nearly drinking what is coming out of your sink eh, it's water. wait really. <laughs> Yes. Then why? If it's purified, purified sounds good though. Co correct, but you're not getting any of the minerals that are essential for your body. But then why do some people say alkaline water is amazing and then they're like, alkaline is not good for oh, you. Oh, wait, okay, so I, I drink- I love black water. <sighs> love. Be okay water? Oh I don't goodness. drink it normally like regular water though. I, I drink alkaline, so I, I mean, I we, Leah just picked up alkaline water just because I was like, I, as long as the water bottle has a handle, I want it. As long as it sounds it. like alcohol. Yeah, so I, I, so I was drinking alkaline water for like three, four days straight, right? Only alkaline water. Apparently, you're not supposed to drink alkaline water. You can't drink too much. I was having diarrhea. Were you really? For three days straight. Yeah, and I was oh. wondering what it was coming from. I think it was the alkaline water. I was, that's all I was drinking because oh. I don't drink anything but my water bottles. That's Why do thing. people drink alkaline water then? I don't know, but I, it's I, like the, the pH balance is supposedly good for you. Oh, I, I really don't so know. We should have on the water sommelier. Like I would totally have that. Wait, guy. I would love the to the just, who? this guy on TikTok. He's he he's a breaks German down guy. Every type of like water bottle and like what's the best. Oh, is that who you're uh, uh, yeah. imitating? He changed the way I saw water. So I only buy water that is uh, spring water. Like I don't drink purified water. Well, is, if is, I'm is in a pinch. Water? No, that's not. Oh, it is. Yes, it's spring water. Woo, baby. Let's go. Purified water though is just, I don't know. That's what I've learned from him and I believe anything I read on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's CG Roxanne? Who is Jay Lux? That guy has his name on every billboard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Why do I see? Every he's, building that's for sale is by J Lux in Los Angeles. He's in J my mind. A Y L U C H S. Bro, you, you've never no. seen J Lux. He, he's in my head more than anybody. He's like, <laughs> he's living in my fucking head. J Lux? It's on billboards? J Lux. How have you not seen every building that's for sale I is for sale by J Lux? Search Type J, in J Lux. A Y. L U C H S. Matt, I can't believe you just said that. You've never this, seen this guy. I'm sure I'll, if I see a visual, I'd be. I'd... Well, it's not billboards. It's just just it's type everything's in for lease by J Lux. You've never for, seen that oh. name. It's everywhere. Interesting, dude. He sells. Actually, no, I haven't seen that name. Look at him go. He sells everything. Let's get him on the pod. I just want to tell him that like his name has been in my head more than anybody else. <laughs> he in goes, my uh, that's good advertising. <laughs> Thinking about buying or selling. <laughs> Okay. You're in luck. In in Florida, he's the that one girl that's on every single park bench. <laughs> In plantation, everywhere. It's this one girl, every single bus stop. She's got like blonde hair. And it's been the same picture for the last 15 years. Every time I go home, I'm like, I cannot believe she's still on these park benches. Do you I, know? I bet she's in the yearbook. I bet she's You in know the who I'm talking dude. All of our yearbooks. She's everywhere. everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they just like run shit. Should, should we tell them our million dollar idea? Which one? To join uh, to join the open group. 
<laughs> the Oppenheim group. The Oppenheim. So you know the show that they have? Yeah, Selling Sunset. So we were watching the show, and you just, you just, we just wanted to check it out. And we're, it's the new one, though. It's uh, yeah, the new one that just came on Netflix. Like what is it? Selling, selling Orange, Orange County. County. Selling Orange County. Okay. Selling Orange County. And we're just watching it. And how do, how do I, how do I say what we saw? It. We could do this shit. Uh, Heath and I, like, I remember we watched an episode and Heath and I looked at each other. We we're like, Heath, let's just audition let's to be, be a part of the cast. Real and, and just sell houses. Because do you I really want to sell houses, though? Honestly, okay. Do so you have to give up all your weekends. The That's way the only I think time people are shopping. I spend so much time on Zillow already. Like, we are constantly looking at stuff. Like, I love it. I love looking at I property feel, values. I feel I, like I went I, to school for it. Mm -hmm. For the amount of time that I put into this shit, just casually looking, yeah. I might as well get my real estate license and be like, fuck it. You want to see it? Let's go look at it together and then buy the house. Yeah, but you, then you know how many times you have to go show people houses and they go, well, it's just not what we're looking for. You just gave up two or three hours out of your day for nothing. Yeah, but that's your only thing that you're doing. It's a hobby. And then it's you a, have your nights. Exactly. <laughs> all right. If y'all want to, I mean, all respect to real estate agents out there. Like, I it's like. It's I fun. think Heath and I as a duo, as a real estate duo, we Ooh. would kill it. And oh, Matt, we, yeah. could, we could sell anything. You guys would be funny with it. Get us in the house. I'll, imagine <laughs> they're asking questions. I'm just like. Ooh, I don't, he, he. <laughs> when was it? When was the roof redone? <laughs> <laughs> when was your That's roof? That's a damn good question. I don't know, baby. I don't know. I I, feel, I I don't know. I feel like we can, especially like older ladies looking for houses. Ooh. Oh my, that's it. Sold. Ham it up. Charm, charm it up. <laughs> and I, I would. Like, oh my God. Zane. I would offer my body up too, like kind of like to these older ladies. Y'all yeah, know how much math you got to learn to do this. Why what are you, math? Why are you yeah, crushing what, their dreams. What calculator. calculator. What math? Calculator. Well, then, okay. So are, are we taking the real estate uh, license exam? Do you Absolutely. Get your we already, license? You have to. Yeah, we were I'll already in the process. It's of taking like two it. weeks. You got to go to classes, or do you do it by yourself? When you're Zane and Heath, baby, they come to you. <laughs> baby, when you're Zane and Heath, Heath does all the work, and Zane just shows yeah, up. Yeah, true. <laughs> Copies the answers. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I think it's two weeks. Remember I think you can do it Remember when I copied your answer? Oh, like from, from my entire life. Oh, no, no. I, say, I just saw myself. Copy my answer? I copied your answers for a certain test I had to take, but I can't talk about the test that we did. Criminal justice? No. S -S 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 no, I literally can't say it. It's really bad. Wait, How much? Drug test? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I literally fed you every uh, Yeah, but we can't yeah, say yeah, what yeah, yeah. Can, Wait, Jordan, can we Google how much time and money do you have to spend to get your real estate license? <laughs> Circling one answer, you're like, Zane, Zane, uh, no. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. oh you On average, it takes that. between five days and six months to get a California real estate license, depending on the pace in which you complete the 135 hours of pre-licensing courses and pass your licensing examination. Honestly, Zane- Do you have to spend any money to take the classes? I think this is something you and I can do for a long time. And I think it'd be really fun for us yeah. down the road. And I don't I, you have to pay for like a membership every year to like have your renew your real estate license? I haven't done the like research. Like you may have to spend like- Oh, this is mad. This isn't right now. This is down the road. This is fun. This oh. is once we're like, we, <clears throat> we have some time on our hands to like, you know, kill and- We've we've done everything that we needed to get done. But in our we lives. would spice the Oppenheim show. Uh, we would, yeah. I think he thought it could be a great I know addition Christine, to the show. I know Christine. It's Christine. -eth. Is it Christine? <laughs> Wait, it's Christine. <laughs> the other guys. You, oh, yeah. you get my wife's name right. It's Christine. -eth. <laughs> But yeah, I think Heath and I could make a great I think addition. that would be really- Speaking of realtors it. though, we met these two old ladies <sighs> the oh other day God. that were the sweetest Love them. things you could ever imagine. Like, and they were they were a duo. Like they were both at the house, they were just having a good they time. They were slightly trying to one up each other. Like one heard the other hitting it off with us and she came in and chimed in and complimented my outfit. And they were mm -hmm. trying to do, they looked like sisters. They kind of walked the same. Um, sisters, they sisters. were so sweet. Like a barb and star. And they were thing. like, they, it was no. very Golden Girls. Very. They were like, we sold a house to um, Little Pump. And <laughs> she said Little but, Pump. But you Zane, like rap? We sold a house to Little Pump. <laughs> they were like in their 70s. They were, they were cute. I loved them. They were really sweet. And no. then I, I hit them with a joke. They were freaking out. They lost it. Oh, they were, they <laughs> they, were explaining a house to you. So they, I'll be them. <laughs> So we have this house. It's very funky. It's very cheeky, but it's a ranch. And then she goes, "Do you do you like ranches?" I go, "I do, but I prefer blue cheese." Oh boy! And they lost it. Bruh, they were I bet. I bet. Howling. Lost howling. It. <laughs> she actually called me today. 
she called you? Yeah. So she thought you know how good that hi. joke was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember that blue cheese? Um, super sweet though. Um, and then we we met another lady that was. Thank God you're talking about this. I, I was know. hoping you I would. Was, I was hoping you'd bring it up to see if it was okay to bring I was, it up. Yeah, we were debating on bringing it up just because of how interesting the situation is. Well, and because of how specific this person is and I don't want the- It's not, it's not yeah. even like, it's more It's more wild. It's just interesting. Yeah. yeah. wild, yeah. What? Do you, um, me, do you want me to begin or you want to begin? Yeah, you take it away. Okay. It, it's, it's, Matt, you'll love this. Tell me. Okay, so- It's he, fascinating. He and I walked into an open house and there were two sellers sitting at the island and the one seller stood up and she was so enthusiastic and excited and she was like come on in come in so we come in she offers us a glass of wine and she was like do you want some wine and we were like no we're okay we're just gonna what check out the house what time of day is it two probably in the, in the morning two o'clock okay she was probably celebrating for something I guess. So she's like, do you that, want a but, glass But low-key, that would be Zane and I. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You exactly. Guys have the best I don't know. Snacks. If my house was getting sold, like trying to get sold though, I'd be like, you but are Matt, not giving out you alcohol. Have to, you have to hear the rest because yeah. they were telling me okay. this story. You just got to listen. She, yeah. She's amazing. Okay. Like yeah. amazing. So uh, she offers us a glass of wine and we're going around the house and she's really like pushing us on this wine. And she's like, have a glass. And we're like, no, we're okay. And she was like, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna have a glass of wine. And it seems like she's already had a few. So she poured herself a glass of wine. She maybe had like three glasses while we were there, but she was so funny and just like- she's Very, very outgoing. I see it why makes she you sells feel good. houses. Yeah. Like she, very, she's very comfortable and welcoming and just like good energy. Not, not pushy with the house. Sometimes that scares me when they're super pushy. Oh, you need this house. This is yours. Like when they're right. pushy, I'm like, eh, let's get away. She didn't What's even talk the about needle? the house. Yeah, <laughs> like, she no. didn't even talk about the house really. She, We just had questions. She would answer them, move on. She was just very like, just pleasant to be around. And then, <laughs> so we're all hanging around the island and Heath was like, all right, I'll take a glass of wine. So he takes the cup of wine and he ends up going to the <laughs> Well, she, like I felt bad. Right, like, she really wanted someone to enjoy a glass of wine with and her. I, so and I wanted her to feel like, oh, let's yeah, do it. We'll it, have a glass together. And she, yeah, let's, let's go. I, Cheers it, you know. Make I'm her like, feel like I'm gonna go check the, <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> I just dumped it. Oh no! I, had, I, had, I wasn't. I was. I was not trying to drink. A so glass he comes of back wine. with an empty glass, and he goes. She to goes. Put well, it. that was fast. <laughs> he goes to put it in the sink. Oh, somebody's thirsty here. <laughs> and she was like, "Just leave it right there. Mama will take care of it." And he was like, "Okay." But so then, so, we're, <laughs> so then I'm standing by the island with her, and she brings up my tattoo. I have this rose tattoo, and she points at it, and she goes. <sighs> okay, okay. And she looks at this tattoo, it's for my family. And she goes, okay, tell me about this one because I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. This and woman <laughs> is an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 like, this is just a woman. Wait, Matt, you have to listen. Like, Matt, I, you have I, to I don't listen. Know Matt, I, you have to, but you like, have you have to listen. listen. Wait, you have okay. to listen Really, to really take the story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Take so she in. looks at my tattoo You're and she goes, I'm about to cry. And I'm like, oh no, it's just for my family and my cousins. And she goes, oh, okay, I thought there was a death. And I was like, well, this rose it was for my grandma who passed away. And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I know, I know. And every time we would say something to her, she would say, I know. Like Heath brought up cars and she goes, I know the Porsche and this and that. She brought that up. She goes, yeah, as soon as you said Mariah, I She's knew. Like, I no, know, I know you don't you know, Deb. I, no, 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 but she was like, I know, I know. <laughs> Go ahead. Matt, she's like, every time something would come up, she was like, not predicting, but basically she would being like- finish our sentence almost. Being like, She's I know. just a drunk. And then, no, no, no. She would like say things that we weren't saying yet. And she was like, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me I'm clairvoyant. Oh dear. Go. Let, and me then, let me clear the air for this. My dumb ass didn't pick that up. So, I thought, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. She goes, she thought her name was Claire Boyd. <laughs> yes. She we goes, get, I'm a real estate agent. Call me Claire. Because I walked out of there. I was like, oh, Claire was nice. And I was like, what? <laughs> wait, no. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Maybe, should you re-say that? It's so. I jumped. I didn't realize that was. you were No, no, no. That, no, that was fine. Oh, okay. So, fine. so we're standing <laughs> there and we're talking about tattoos and. Um, Matt, this story is really interesting. Yeah, I, I'm that, here, we didn't sorry. even. We, I, I think, I think you're not allowing the story to fully process. Like, I, just I let just it, don't have nicotine. Let it marinate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> fucking rusty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Okay. Somebody so needs wait. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> so we're talking about tattoos and she goes. She shows me her. Um, her tattoo artist 
and his entire page is just roses and hearts, like specifically. And he was really good. I was like, wow, that's beautiful. So she goes, do you wanna see what he did on me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> she f <laughs> fully picks up her shirt and I see her boob. <laughs> in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the and kitchen. Matt, it's no. an open house, so there's people coming in and she's like, go ahead. She's, go like, look at the room. she's like, walk around, get lost. Get lost, do you want a glass of wine? What? No, you're, you're like, lost. With Matt, me. I can't make you're this up. I can't, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. She has this little heart in the middle that's really tiny. And she, she's just, her boobs are out and she's just talking to me. She's like, my friends think it should be a bigger heart because I have such a big heart and it's too tiny, yada, yada. And I'm going along with it. And my brother came with us. So he turns around to see the tattoo, but he turns around and just sees her bare back. <laughs> just in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother just and I, I am eating this. I am eating this up. Like I love interesting people. So no, I'm but just, like you got to remember, like she is so fun though. Like very, like, very out, like, fun. Like we loved her. <laughs> like we walked out. Like oh my god, that yeah. was a blast. We could have stayed there for hours. Right. Didn't didn't learn anything about the house, but I know <laughs> her entire life inside and out. So then she goes, "Do you want to see this scar and um, or this tattoo?" And it was a scar from her elbow to her wrist. And I was like, "Oh wow!" Now very important. The night before, we just finished watching the movie you told us to watch called Speak I No didn't, Evil. I didn't tell y'all to right, watch you that forced movie. Us. You said you got to watch the movie. Whatever. You'll be better yeah, parents. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I was, be, I was said, saying, you got to watch it. Well, then gotta... by all means, go watch it. All right. It doesn't matter. We watched the movie. <laughs> That's Somebody not the point. That's him, not the point. Okay. Okay. I don't want to recommend <laughs> that movie to people. Or like, all right. sorry. Well, we watched. We finally watch a movie. Okay. Now here we yeah. <laughs> sorry. We watched this movie. Spoiler alert. I'll give you three seconds to fast forward. It's about tongues being cut out. So. <laughs> she goes, look at this tattoo. She goes, look at this tat or this tattoo. And it was a scar. I said, oh, it's a scar. Like, what is that from? She goes, they cut my tongue out. And she opens her tongue. Whoa. And it's her, it's and not it's a her tongue, arm. it's her arm. She had tongue cancer. So they replaced like the whole, like, like three quarters of her tongue with like the skin from her arm. So it's interesting that they just watched so the movie night we before. We just watched the movie the night before. So we're like, this so is we a were, sign. This is really weird. We like, were talking about the movie all night about the tongues. All morning, we were talking about the tongues. And as soon as she said that, we looked at each other like, oh my gosh. So she's apparently the only person in the country that survived that surgery where she had tongue cancer or she had some sort of cancer and it traveled. Yeah. And they took a part of her arm and, and replaced it. So she was like, they cut my tongue out and she fully showed And I'm over tongue. here, I'm like, oh my God, this is a sign. Like, this is our house. Uh, yeah, we're looking at <laughs> it. I'm like, I gotta and, buy it. And roses are very significant to me. And in the kitchen, there's there are roses all in the sink. And she's I'm like, like you love Porsche. Going? And I'm like, oh my God, I yeah. do. I do, I really do. She's telling Heath, I know you're a Porsche guy. I know you, I know you. She's writing down his information. She already has Heath written down. She And Heath was like telling her his name. And she was like, I know, I know, I know. I need your phone number though. Like she kept saying, I know, I know you guys. I know you. So interesting. So I was like, there's no way this woman watches the podcast. There's no way. No. And it just didn't like click. She didn't seem like the type of person to enjoy us. <laughs> and wow. so um, she's going on and on about what restaurants we have to go to and this and that. Just like giving like recommendations of like things to do in LA. Yeah. Yeah. She's so like, if you haven't gone here, go here. She goes out of nowhere. She's like, my friend um, has a Porsche. I'm trying to get him to sell it. Do you know a guy to Heath? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I guess. I, I, I jokingly I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. Yeah. And she was like, here, boom, pulled With, out the phone. Within 10 seconds, she has the guy on the phone and she's giving, here, talk to him. And Heath is just like, are you selling a car? He's just going along with it. Um, and the guy on the other line is like, maybe, I don't know, whatever. They're hitting off, she's enjoying this. That's it. We, we leave, fast forward. She hands us all three roses to leave. I'm like, okay, I gotta keep these, they're in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we come home. I gotta, keep, I gotta keep this in. No, I, I legit <laughs> think she, it, I, I can't explain the feeling, not so much like I was around a witch or somebody who like has, some, like it was a comforting feeling. Like she, like yeah. I, I truly believe she Very is- Very medium-esque. Yeah. yeah. And so can like see into this. We get home, we call Jordan right away. And we're like, Jordan, we There's gotta, somebody we really gotta interesting tell you, you gotta about meet. this lady. And it, this is, I'm not gonna say where. We told Jordan, you gotta go see this lady. The open house is open for one more hour. So he's like, all right. So we gave Jordan 
um, a, st- a, ba- a story in case she asked, like, what do you do? What do you, cause they always he ask, was like, why how do I, what do I say houses? I'm doing out here? So we made up a whole story for Jordan so that there's no connection to us. Like not like we sent somebody to go look at this woman, pretend you're looking at the house, whatever. So Jordan had this whole story. He was rehearsing. He said he shows up and the first thing out of her mouth is, hi, I'm so-and-so. This is so-and-so. She has twins. One of them is named Jordan and my brother's name is Jordan. And Jordan goes, that, my name's Jordan. She goes, yeah, I know. Come in. What? Isn't that yes. fucking insane? Bullshit. Jordan, ask him. So, so. Insane. She is, <laughs> the first so thing as soon is. As she's as probably on now six glasses of wine. There's, it there's so, uh, there, as soon they, it they didn't say Jordan was coming. He never no. made it, booked an appointment. No, he just showed up. So Jordan showed up. She said Jordan. She guessed his name and his whole rehearsal story was out the window. Because <laughs> he thought, like we thought, I was like, maybe she knows us. So he was like, okay, maybe she knows that, like, we're kind of, I don't know. So he completely forgot the story. So he's looking around the house and there is this closet. It's a deeper closet, not a walk in closet, but it's deep and it has this wooden bench inside of it where two, a washer and dryer goes on top of it. So that's how it's like raised, probably like, yeah. you know, like two feet up. high. So Jordan walks in and he goes, oh, is this a sauna? So he like sits down for a second and she comes over, gets, takes her shoes off. Gets in the closet gets with in him. in the closet with him, sits crisscross applesauce. Stop. <laughs> this did not happen. She's sitting crisscross applesauce. They're not even halfway through the story yet. These are her legs, right? She's doing this with her legs and they're like nearly touching Jordan. He's sitting there like Bare this. Feet, like an One inch away. door is closed and the other's open. So it's they're half closed in there together. And she's just talking to him like this. She makes him take a good look at her tongue. It's this whole thing. And she keeps telling him like, like saying, I was, I used to be a hot girl. I was a hot girl. But like this she's, woman is selling a house and she's <laughs> doing this shit. Yeah. They hung out in the closet for 15 minutes. Jordan said, what? He, Jordan said it took so long because they were sitting in the closet minutes. for so long. He came back like 45 minutes later. I was like, what happened? And he was like, dude, I was in the closet with her for like 15 minutes. He texted me, is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's how long he was gone. And Jordan, did anything else that was uh, supernatural happen while you were there? Supernatural. I think that was pretty much it. I think that was pretty that, much That it. hit the main, yeah. the main point. So let's move on. Continue. Immediately we get home and of course we investigate. We look up her name, we dig into her, we, see, we find her Instagram. And now before Jordan went to go see this house, he, he takes walks around the neighborhood and we told him how um, amazing the Halloween decorations are in this neighborhood. And he's walking around and he, um, like I said, before seeing the house, he comes in and he says, one of the houses is already decorated. I'm so excited. It's like a Charlie Brown themed house. And we're like, oh cool, we'll see it eventually. So, and, and Jordan's very excited about this Charlie Brown house. Yeah. Like, it's like all talking about talking it all day. About. We're like, all right, that's enough, Jordan. <laughs> like, okay, Charlie Brown, we got it. <laughs> He's like, no, but you don't so, understand how cool understand. it is. don't understand, like they're decorating. Um, so fast forward, he sees um, the house. We come home, we investigate, we watch her story. And on her story, she's filming the Charlie Brown house. What? And Jordan's like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is it. Well, this is a house, but when I was just there, I'm pretty sure she was standing there next to the Charlie Brown house owner talking together when I was just there. I'm putting it together. Like I, I saw her the day before this, before I met her, and that was her out front. I think she lives next door. Because the neighbors were talking and it's clicking that that was the same person when he saw the Charlie Brown house. So they were Did together Did she get before. your name then? No. No, no he was just walking this was, at, this was maybe at this 10 o'clock. This is 10 o'clock. This is, 10 o'clock, on, at this 10 is like 10 o'clock at just night. It gets, it gets better. This is what? 10 o'clock. It gets better. Hold on. Go, Jordan. This is 10 o'clock at night. And I am I was more paying attention to the person like at the Charlie Brown house. I wasn't paying attention who they were talking to. Yeah, he didn't. He wasn't talking to anybody. But he's like, I, I'm I pretty sure that was the lady. Though. I didn't say a single word. Okay. Yeah. So look at the stories, whatever. We're like, oh my God, this is really bizarre now. So then- <clears throat> We're hanging out, whatever. We're watching TV. And all of a sudden we get an alert on the Citizen app that there is an armed person uh, a couple streets over at the Trader Joe's. And we're like, oh my God, this is scary. Like, we're, like we should probably investigate. <laughs> this is exciting. So we're like, we, we fucking Stay go on patrol. And lock the doors, yeah, right? Go outside and investigate. So it was just so close. Nothing really happens here ever. So it was exciting. You know? So we're like, we got to get in the car and go look for this guy. So we're driving up and down the streets, like, like literally 
SpongeBob on you patrol. You and Mariah and Jordan. and Jordan. Oh my god! We were driving for maybe fifteen minutes, which is a long time because it was only two blocks away from us. So we were driving around, going up and down the streets, but the, and streets, the streets were are, dead. Streets are empty, like nobody dead. seen. No, no cops, no people. Nothing. Like everything was closed. Nobody was around, so we were giving up. So we're like, this is really weird. Like there was the it alerts, happened like a minute ago. Yeah, and we don't see anything. So we're like, all right, screw it. So we'll we'll we just were go back go home. home. Yeah. So we're driving back, and I'm getting ready to pull into the driveway, and I was like, screw it. Let me just go mess with Jordan and go drive by the Charlie Brown house and be like, there's your girlfriend's house, the <laughs> the realtor lady. Um. So I turn and we go to turn onto the Charlie Brown house, and a car's coming dead at me, and I'm getting ready to turn right, and they turn the same way with me. And I'm like, oh, that was weird. And I'm like, oh my God, it's a cop. So we're literally right behind a cop and we see the cop lights up ahead, lighting the street, Charlie Brown house. And there's the man standing <laughs> Barefoot, in the middle the of the road. Man. The armed man. What? <laughs> in front of this realtor's house with the Charlie Brown house next what? to it. What? Isn't lit, that bizarre? Lit up in the middle of the street. You and actually, the you can't write this shit. You can't. Dead middle of the night. I would have fainted. Like Matt, we were dude, literally goosebumps. That's insane. So yeah. we we're like, oh holy shit! So the cops start pulling <laughs> this guy over, and we just go right next to them, and we we literally parked on the side of the street, shut the car off, and we're watching the <laughs> cops talking to this armed man that was like r right in front of the house. They, they, they have the whole video. They have it on video. Yeah, show the me. whole situation. Insane. Show me. So he's standing there, and the cop has him there for like fifteen minutes, like waiting for backup, and we're watching this entire thing go down. Did he rob the Trader Joe's? What did he do? He was. I think there he was, was no. Just, there was no more information on yeah. it other than there was a the fact that there was an armed man like outside of it. And then you're not gonna believe it. The next day, the realtor texts them, "Be careful about the. Be careful with the armed man in your neighborhood." <laughs> Shut no, up. That, that's a okay. Lie. Whoa. Oh, she texts us, "Want to go to Trader Joe's?" Want to go to. But that, the, like that chain of events, isn't that very strange? Like from the beginning of that to the Dude, end, it just Dude, everything was a puzzle strange. piece that just kept fitting. And now I think I have to buy the house because of her. No, I think no, you I don't. Think oh no, opposite. I don't think. I think the opposite. Yeah, I don't think that's. <laughs> I don't think no. <laughs> Beautiful house though. It's absolutely but stunning. she did. Here's my theory. She did say she was clairvoyant. Her name is not Claire. <laughs> for those confused, um, <laughs> her name's Claire. She Clever. wasn't both when me and Heath went in and when Jordan walked in and when those uh, there was other people walking in the house while we were there, she was not trying to sell the house. She wasn't talking to anybody about the house. She was just having a good time. Just making think, personal connections. Yeah. I think Did she sell she, is the house still for sale? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think she can sense whose house it's supposed to be. So when they walk in, then she'll sell it because she's supposedly one of the best realtors in that company. Yeah. So she just waits. I think she just knows, oh, that's supposed to be their house. Okay. Let's if go she's on. clairvoyant. If she's clairvoyant. But I want to like sit down with her. See, it, what's weird is like that, like if she was selling a house right now and you were like, Matt, go over there. You got to go talk to her. I probably wouldn't. We should all go There's together. There's people like that though, that I, like, I'm interested <sighs> to see how I would have handled it, handled the moment. I think the I don't know. One, the moment like of uh, serving alcohol or uh, something like that, I would have been like, this woman's like drunk. I'd be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I would have been out. But that's what makes it so interesting because you've never walked into a open house and the realtor is drinking wine. Like when but have she's you so ever chatty, seen that? But like, I think her pointing out like your tattoos on you. I, I would think have been it like, works for her though. I think that. Yeah. Why is it working then? She If she's like. Right, uh, but I'm telling, no, I'm saying how I probably would have reacted. I would yeah. have been like, I would have gotten up and out of there fast. Because, but like, that's just, because that, that I those think types of people scare me. Psychics scare me. Claire, clairvoyance scares I think, me. But I, I don't think you would have been scared. I think you would have been interested. Yeah. I wish you were, I wish. It was a good I think feeling. you would have stayed around. We're pinpointing those parts, but the in-betweens, like she was, she was fine. Like she was, yeah. I didn't feel uncomfortable. She just felt like she was like an aunt of mine that was just like, I don't know. Interesting. Well, maybe I should make a booking. Mm -hmm. You should. You should. And then come back and then tell us your experience. Because we have If there's Jordan an open go, house this weekend, you have we should to. go oh, again. Should me and Matt go? Yes. Yeah, you guys should go. You have to. How's your non vaping? I want to say that it gets better every day, but I think the moments happen less and less during the day. But when you do have the moments, it's pretty strong. We're craving nicotine. At 15 least. days, y'all. 
Matt's been off nicotine and vape for 15 days. It ain't easy. I'm see like <clears throat> I, because I see Matt like every night and he's has like a roller coaster of emotions. It's like one minute he's like great and the next minute I could see him struggling so bad. Like I'll just be seen from far away and he's literally having a meltdown. Yeah. I am, man. I'm like, I am sitting here just like taking deep breaths, like miming a vape, you know, yeah. just to get a little bit of sense of the ritual. Yeah. Eating peppermints, high chews, Drink, almonds. Drinking through a straw. Drinking through a straw. It'll cure are you, you. Are you proud of yourself though? It's just, it's weird. The brain of the nat of an addict. Yeah. And all it's this, your whole world. Yes. And your brain will start doing all of this men all of these mental gymnastics to convince yourself why you should go. You'll, you'll take start a negotiating hit. with yourself. Yeah. You're like, well, what if I just really only did it on the weekend? But you know what? I actually have a very stressful week coming up at, uh, ahead of me. Maybe I should just be kind to myself and do it and just wait and for then, another time. That's and exactly how my brain thinks. The timing isn't right. And then you think, mate, I'll do it on the weekends. Or then you go, what if I just consume nicotine, but not through vaping? What if I just chewed Nicorette, Matt, and then and, you, and then you start doing. Well, I won't buy one if I don't buy one, and I hit somebody else's. See, I can't. As I've long come as I don't too buy far. It, okay. I've come way too far right now to hit that reset button, don't. knowing that yeah. I you did it. it. No, yeah, I you're this is the hardest hump to get over, and that's what I'm worried about. Like quitting, like just. But you're but on. You I think you're on. But you're on antidepressants. I think you're. I don't know. You got to keep your little wits about. You. I don't know. <laughs> What does that is mean? He just, is he telling me to keep vaping? No, I think, I think, I think you should. I think he feels I think better, better than you. It's just you. It's very. You. I just don't want to be around you. I was like, I was telling Zane, I go, you should go on vacation somewhere where you cannot buy a vape, and then that's like your big withdrawal. Yeah, he thinks I should like go on vacation for like a week by myself, like in a cabin in the woods. Oh no, he'd be miserable. What? Yeah. Sarah Baska does that. Yeah, but I he's think not it, Sarah Baska. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm not that. He's the opposite. I think of Sarah you should Baska. just go sit with your head in your ideas. And commit to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll commit. <laughs> <laughs> but then what? Just I'll commit to the bottle <laughs> by what? myself in the cabin. I never. I would never drink like non socially. But that. <laughs> what bums me out is that it. like I never officially like said goodbye to the vape. Like my last hit was like. To me, well, not my last, but I was, it was your so, appendicitis. It was my appendicitis, but and that's, then that's the, why I stopped quitting. That's the best way to do it. Like <laughs> a lot of a lot of people, um, when they quit cigarettes, they would keep a pack like in their drawer. Oh, I still got tons of vapes in my uh, room. But that's that's good I like though. The threat. It's, if you don't have it, then you're going to be like, well, I'm going to go to the store and buy it. But if you have them around you and you have that control in your possession. Yes. It's a lot better for I you. I believe which, that. Which sounds backwards, but it's good to have like yeah. people who quit I would, cigarettes. I like it's at, good to have a pack around. And it's even good sometimes just holding one. I don't really like holding the vapes because I feel like I'll actually do it. Like I'll hit it unconsciously if I'm holding a real vape. But when I was out, my buddy who smokes cigarettes, he gave me a cigarette and I held that for a long time and would just like Without like it burnt, like without just, it burnt. Yeah. And I was just like in the, I was like in the bar and people were like, Hey, put out that cigarette. I'm like, it's not lit. It's a metaphor. I felt like Ansel Elgort <laughs> oh, and, and a fault in the fault in your, in the store yeah. or whatever it's called. Just, but I'm just excited, but I don't feel great. I don't, I yeah, don't know. I'm sure it's rough. What, how I know how fucked up it is for me with the vaping is Every time I finish up my work or when I'm getting to the end of my workout, I get so excited because I know I'm about to go back to my car and it's sitting right there. I was like that. I was like that when I smoked cigarettes, I would work out and would look forward to having my protein shake and a cigarette. Yeah. Dude. Cause that was that the was only time ago. where the puff was not in my, uh, on my person was when I worked out <laughs> on, I can my, relate to on that. my person, on my person. I wait for Friday. Cause I'm like Friday's pizza. I can't wait. I know it's a different scale. I'm just trying <laughs> no, to, no, no, I hear you. I feel like I'm going for the same thing. <laughs> it's like no, me with pasta. It's actually like every Friday. I'm like, I have to have it. I don't have a choice. You have pizza every Friday, like, pizza Friday. Like Zane, like that's great. Oh, that's a real thing that you do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. See, I need to find my new addictions. That's what I keep learning about in researching and a big advice I have to anybody who's watching and listening the moment who are trying to quit nicotine anytime you are craving it just go search on TikTok why to stop 
smoking nicotine and just sit there and watch those videos That's for like a good few minutes and you will not want Empowering. to. You will yeah, not want to do I it bet. and read the comments. But I keep also hearing like, I need to find like something like healthier yeah. constructively because you do do you do a lot of activities with your hands but i feel like that's not enough because it's the oral fixation right yeah. it's this yeah. like i just miss knitting. i can't do the crosswords anymore i love hitting my vape and doing the crossword like, it makes you think you're yes thinking. your memory is like solid my recall where, is where, right there where Dude, i fidgets? was looking at a picture of francis mcdermott the other day and i couldn't i was like what is her name? That's how bad my cravings were. We're like my recall. You know me, I'm Mr. Matt, little movie buff, dead. I was like, I don't know who that, I mean. I don't know who that lady is. Never seen this picture no. in my life. <laughs> Sorry to this woman. Where are your fidgets? When you're doing crosswords, you can play with your fidget. And Maybe. You can think like this. Maybe. I, I've been way more productive and like certain though. I ran out of puff the other night and I actually like did this with nothing in Get my them. hand and it, it like worked 15%. It worked. Okay. I was like. I was like, whoa, zero. but that's how fucked up it is yeah. that it works. I want, that's how disgusting it is. I want you to quit Zane because just because when I see you around it, it like kind of triggers me, but I'm not saying you don't need to. <laughs> so selfish. You're, you have you're every, triggering him, Zane. You have every right to, but it would help me a lot because when Heath smoked cigarettes, when Heath stopped smoking, I stopped smoking because nobody else was smoking in like yeah. our group. But like, it's just, it's like, I was like on the Instagram story. I saw Reggie with a vape and I was like, oh, <laughs> get out of my face. I was trying to watch How Fargo. How can do it? Character was smoking cigarettes. I'm like, gosh, I can't, I, I'm seeing it everywhere. You, I Matt, have had a you're nightmare. Gone. You're bigger than the addiction. Exactly. Thank you. I, I really I've had a nightmare at like nearly every night. That's another thing I'm worried about. Nightmares every night. I don't want a fucking nightmare There's every at least night. have been a conflict. There's been a conflict in so. every dream yeah. where I'm trying to get something I can't. Zane, there was one night, there was a demon made of fire and you were telling me it was in the next room and you were taking it so seriously like we were gonna defeat this demon. It was it was like, it was just fire. A ball, uh, it was like a human flame and it kept like lighting up and we could see its body. <gasps> like, and you were like, no, we need to put a sheet over it because we can really see it and the flames will go out. It's then like we word. did it and then it started swinging. It was a whole fucking thing. And I wanted to tell you about it the next day, but because of the nicotine, I'm in such a bad mood. I'm like, I don't even want to fucking go tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even want to go tell you. And you think it's the not smoking that's like causing these. There's um, a lot of withdrawal that is happening. Like it's nicotine is turning into like cotine and like your body. Then so, but it's, it's, I think it's three days to break the nicotine. Three or five days is when it's going to be its worst. Two weeks, you're going to have cravings a lot less. But dude, I then I fucking I go on Reddit and I read these stories about people who've quit smoking for years and they're they, they go every day I crave a cigarette. Like that's where that that's drives insane. me nuts. But right now I'm kind of not craving it. That's good. I think you're getting better. Like my grandparents, they they quit cigarettes for quite a few years now, and they yeah I would love a cigarette. But you know what? They I like they feel like in five years or once a year I'll have maybe two or three cigarettes. Like. Out of just like, hey, if it's a right occasion, yeah, give me yeah. a cig. I'm, I, as long as you know that you're strong, like you're not gonna pick up the addiction again. Yeah. yeah. And you pick up one, you're like, I'm not gonna be addicted again. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to get that far away because I'm yeah. still way too much of a real- It's too fresh. Or, or vaping, Matt, I'm like, do, nah. Do a cigar. I'd much rather look forward to a cigarette than a cigar right now. But also what I was reading about is- Or a pipe, do like a pipe. like. It makes no, you not want to do it because you have to like pack it. And yeah, you got to make it like a mission. Do, you know yeah. what, guys? I don't even want to start thinking down that avenue of like when I'm going to do yeah, it again. Yeah, let's not shop yeah, for but it. We are. We I are was, <laughs> we're not be, We're telling him to smoke cigars. Yeah, once you get to three weeks, you should just buy a pack. <laughs> I do. I've, I've done that. I've gone. Ooh, day thirty. I'll finally hit a vape, it. just to know that I could do it. But then again, in my head, I go, I don't want to do this ever again. Ever, it's not. I, I I truly truly think, I think they should ban fucking like puffs. Like the fact that kids can buy puffs and People, start smoking, I I think that's when it's too, dangerous. And you can do it indoors. Like it's just it's make too, it gross. Like cigarettes, I get they're fucking gross. They're nasty. You know yeah. you don't want to be alcohol, smelling like cigarettes all day. You have the right to do whatever you want I know, to do. I know. I know. No, I think everybody has the right to hit a vape. Everybody does. 
Yeah, right, but, but they shouldn't exist to begin with because it's so bad for you. Nicotine, yeah. this country was founded off tobacco. Right, nicotine we understand that, but let's change. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just yeah. saying, I just say no, it's addicting and know what you're getting yourself into because it's not fun getting over it. You know what it is? When you drink too much, you, you, you're you punished with a hangover. It fucking sucks, right? There's no punishment with puffs. No, there's no just instant smoking. There is, exactly, you're smoking every day. You don't feel like shit until three uh, years down the line. You're like, whoo, I'm feeling like shit every day. There's, there's long-term the, effects. I also yeah. feel really embarrassed talking about it because like, I think everyone in my own personal life knows that like I battle nicotine and like I hit a vape and like occasionally you may see me like hitting one on this podcast. But what's been so terrible about having a nicotine addiction is how you do have to hide it from a lot of people in your life, if that yeah. makes sense. Like you, there may be people in your life, like I don't know, like your parents or friends and family who you, it's inappropriate to vape around. And then you're going to the bathroom and going to hit that device that makes you feel like such scum doing it. Yeah. Like, like even they, though like it's not a hide serious it, yeah. drug, like I'm sick of like the hiding. Yeah. And so now I'm like, I need to be way more honest. I'm not really big about sharing on my Instagram story because I don't know. This is, I just feel more candid and safe here. Yeah. Right. Um, but what I was also learning about is like, it gives you dopamine. Every time you're taking a hit, nicotine is like simulating a release of dopamine. Mm -hmm. When we can receive dopamine through a lot of natural ways in our life. And if we're constantly feeding these dopamine, like you're, you're just hitting the, ah, ah, ah button all <laughs> the it's fucking that quick, time. It's just that quick little like reward and then you need it again. It will eventually, later. you can like get to a point where you become so apathetic yeah, yeah, about yeah. finding joy in anything. Yeah, That's Going true. to a sports game, you don't like it. Talking to the love of your life, you're not finding joy. Like that kind of shit where you get to that big of like a, I don't wanna call it ego death, but just, yeah, not That's having scary. joy like, is really fucking scary. Yeah. Is is scary like, to the point where like I like I, I'm at the point right now where if I leave the house and I forget my puff, oh there there's my night. It's 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 gonna it's fucking ruined. Like because I like I'm nothing gonna, feels genuine to you anymore without the puff. You know what I mean? It's not more. It's not genuine. It's more like I'm gonna be thinking about this the whole night. I'm not gonna be able to pay attention to anybody because I. I, I, I need I need to be smoking something. And yeah. but then it can I'm gonna, escalate your no, I'm saying also your nicotine yeah. addiction can escalate to a point where other things are not yeah. finding you you're not finding yeah. joy in anything else because you're so fucking addicted to the It's you're you're getting that dopamine like I need it, I need it. What it's else, like uh, what naturally like gives you dopamine? Cornography. Pornography. Wait, what naturally gives you I don't know, hanging out with friends, getting oh, sunshine, oh, moving your body, I exercise. Really Do dopamine is Babies. what your your like brain releases when you're oh, happy. That's good stuff. That's this it's, is it's, we get dopamine from this having this conversation and putting it out there. Yeah. These are fun things. We just use this as a crutch to keep our brain satisfied because we love the little edge and how it feels. But the thing is, I also want to be clear with us saying this. I'm not trying to be like, get that vape out of your hand. Stop it. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you, you have every right to do it. I'm just sharing my journey and my experience with it because it's I'm tons of people do it. It's even yeah. worse. More people are vaping. Do you think than more people ever did? Do you think we more people school? vape now than people smoke cigarettes? Yes. Like yeah. Yeah. Wait, in the seventies? Yeah. I think vapes That's are a lot more popular. I, I think you can I hide. Wonder if we could find. Can knows if you smell like a vape or like yeah, you can go up and you do it in your bedroom. You can do it anywhere, anytime. It's so easy to hide. Even if it's not allowed, you can sneak in your shirt. Like the way kids are doing it is. But it's so hard recommending to do something where I'm on the other end going, I still don't feel amazing. Right? Yeah. I still feel like people seeing you right now are like, I don't want to feel like that if I quit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but it's a but process. The long term yeah. is worth it. And guys, always remember this. Think of these, your kids. Think your think kids. and think about this. These vapes are so fucking new. We have no idea what's in what's what's in these things that we're smoking. It's battery like acid and yeah, microplastics, literally. and you're just. I th I don't think there's been an, it's been out for that many years. No. For us to really know long -term. exactly. The long term effects is having our body, but I bet, I bet you, it is so much worse than cigarettes. It has it's, to be. It's gross. It sucks, and like it sucks that I'm in. Like, I, I hated, I hated back then when we did cigarettes. I knew in my head, like, oh, I'll never get addicted. I never did get addicted to cigarettes because right. I thought it was gross, but it was just nice to do it. Like when we were outside drinking a coffee, and then I, and then I wouldn't see it for the rest of the day. And I was like, oh, yes, but I, God, but I love never I cigarettes. I miss that so much. I miss and, just being like. Fuck it. Yeah. Like, like, oh. 
And, but but like, was, it, would, it would be sometimes. And like, you don't, like the thing is that there'd be times where you want one and you're just like, ah, it's not worth the smell. Yeah. It's not worth a it. Lot, most of the time you're disgusted while you're doing it. Yeah. But like that coffee with a cigarette in the morning, like on the balcony at the apartment, like yeah. that was just like. It was, it was nice, but. It was like a reward. Was it? Was it? It was. But <laughs> I don't know. Then I'm, I'm just trying to like introspect, thinking about all the times like, damn, I must have been hitting that shit a lot. Everybody, like, everybody listening that's quitting right now, yeah. they're all relapsing. They're like, they're just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, because then you would do like you would do like late night walks. You know what I mean? You'd be like, yeah. I'm gonna go have a cigarette with a walk. And then like when you quit, you're like, oh, why would I go on a walk if I'm not gonna smoke a cigarette? Exactly. <laughs> you start yes. giving yourself excuses. But, but I'm excited. Hopefully, I'll feel even better. And I'm week. and I'm glad. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'm glad that people ha are seeing you right now, like. Day day five, day fifteen, day like people are like seeing you. It's like a check in. Exactly, they're checking in with you. And, like in five months, you'll be checking in. And, and then I get sometimes it. I get Thanks. so sad thinking like I'll never have a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna have a vape again. Like that makes me a little sad. Like, but you, Matt, but, but guess Matt, what? You don't want to be forty with kids and a vape. Yeah. You're gonna feel no, so sad. I know, but I just want like there's just. Okay. It's it's very mature. But remember like, that feeling that we all had before the vape? I, I've been I, feeling like that though lately. I've been feeling like I feel like a like a tea like a, not a teenager, but I'm feeling like what my life was before nicotine, if that makes sense. Which is a great sign. But think about the people like the way you stopped when Heath stopped smoking. Think about somebody in your life or somebody listening, you're probably at least one person you're gonna help. They're gonna be like, That's Oh, true. well if Matt yeah. doesn't do it anymore, I wanna be just like Matt, so I'm not gonna do it. You know? Yeah, that is a good point. And, and seeing it's like you people quit, seeing, seeing our weight loss. Yeah, like it, it's inspiring. It really is. Yeah, uh, seeing you quit now, I know that I'm I'm gonna do it very soon. Yeah, I the think fact that you're doing next it. episode be like, <laughs> man, fuck that shit. <laughs> cut that. Cut it. <laughs> we need to go, go back and like re-upload it. Cut it. <laughs> That's mind your own business. <laughs> Because like no, honestly, it's like seeing you is is like inspiring me to to like want to do it. David Alvarez did it. He's doing the whole We're, app thing. We That's are exciting. each other's buddy. We text about vaping probably every three or four hours just to check wow. in. Like, how are you doing? And then I'll or I'll text Mike. I go, God, I would love to hit a vape right now, buddy. All caps. And Mike will be like, like buddy. I know, think right? About like it. I know in a year, you're if I keep smoking and you're off uh, you're off nicotine, I know your insides are gonna be ten thousand times healthier than mine. That's another trick I learned to go, you have to accept that you are better than other people who are hitting their, their Exactly. And stuff. You, you, you have are. to internalize, don't say it to their face, but know every moment you're getting better you're and they're getting weaker. If that makes any well, sense. Well, you're saying it. You're, yeah, yeah, you got to say it in a better way. I saw. I really... would never say that. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying it I know exactly. You, going. you are yeah. doing going. something that's bettering yourself. Exactly. They are yes. doing something that is not bettering themselves. Exactly. Exactly. I, exactly. I saw a really interesting um, thing about doing like a uh, a week long fast. Apparently, if you fast for a week for your memory, Alzheimer's. No, it reduce it like for one week a year it reduces your risk of cancer by 95 percent fasting there for are a some, whole week there are some studies fasting for one week a year zane you're i would good. do that i would do that you're in your, good i wouldn't do that <laughs> at your age though i think people who do the week-long fasting are usually like in their 50s and 60s oh older yeah i've never like known anybody who's been young it from what I've read about those studies. Well, why not? I mean, if it works and that's like a, a legit thing. I'm Wait, I thought like, isn't a week of fat, like you're saying fasting, no food, no water. No, you, you drink water. water. You just can't eat. But apparently it's like when Ramadan. you fast, it's like your oh. first, your it, first like, few it days. It flushes you know, your, your first, body of like everything. Because it starts eating all of the the bad stuff. I feel, I guess stomach aches after five hours of not eating. I would do that. I would try to do that like in my fifties or like late forties, not. Should we day. try to fast for a couple of days? No. Are you sure? Like nothing? Like you can't. You're like I'm already giving up one day. Just Wait, give me a minute. What about here. what about like soup? Yeah. I think I think sometimes when people fast, they'll do like water, coffee, Juice. and then um, like a like a broth. So no protein shake either. And that it helps. helps. There's been studies. I don't. It's it's still kind of controversial. I. <laughs> I do remember we had come up. in jaws. Like, <laughs> Zane's on a week of fasting. Zane, tell us, tell us your journey. Zane, how are you? <laughs> <Zane's happy. laughs> 
Hey, you stupid. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are dumb. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Bubba, that was good. <laughs> What are you My dunking? What are you dunking, man? <laughs> dunking a pumpkin. <laughs> um. Oh, so boy. yeah, that's my that's my journey. Oh, I I was I forgot who I was talking to this. Oh about, god! If you were um, if you <laughs> <laughs> y'all see y'all seen the video of uh NASA hitting the asteroid? <laughs> oh yeah, the video looks like it's from like the nineties. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? It's so bad. It's so bad, and then it cuts out. Before it even hits? Well, no, because the missile had to hit it. But then the video, it cuts of them like hooting and hollering like the Gideon <laughs> cameras no. from the 90s. <laughs> Hold on, wait, I haven't seen Is this. that real? Yes. It is real? They say it's real, but clear. I don't want to get into that. Clairvoyant. So. It's so bad. Zane, they just they just did this like two days ago. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> Slams into an asteroid. Wait, this is like, oh, this th just came out yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at the video. Look at the video down there. Like, why does it look like it's 2003? I think that is still pretty cool. Wait, they had to destroy. Like, they went Asteroid redirection. Oh, wait, can I see that video one more time? <laughs> <laughs> they just... It <laughs> <laughs> look at the... <laughs> Zane, I think this cost them five hundred million dollars. Give, give me, give me ten minutes. I can make that <laughs> yeah, no, I, I exact no. video. I can do this video on Big Monkey. They <laughs> took a picture and then just zoomed the. <laughs> yeah, but Matt's right. Why does that video look like it's from like two thousand and two? Yes, the video <laughs> quality. Play, play it. Look at that. What? <laughs> you couldn't get what? You couldn't get Jack Cook up in there with just a decent fucking camera. <laughs> it's so bad. But just uh, like an iPhone 4K video, like the cameras are insane these days yeah, on your phone. No, I believe they everything? hit it. I believe they hit it. There's too many smart people in the fucking room to like lie about something like that. It's just funny that just like this. I the think everybody there thinks they did it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're watching that video like, woohoo, we did it. I don't know. Even even though even like it just that that didn't like what are the seem comments? right to me. The I gotta, way I gotta see that. Had a bit, it had a bit. What are those comments? Zoom in. <laughs> that asteroid that <laughs> ended the dinosaurs is technically the highest ratio of killing. What? So they had a satellite hit the. It's being able to target a, an a asteroid. A missile to redirect an incoming asteroid. And that's heavy enough to redirect uh, oh, an asteroid? This is a test. What, what, oh, 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 what crashed into it? What are they it's saying? like a missile. Satellite. So what happens oh. to the missile when it crashes? It explodes and it breaks it up and redirects the asteroid. So an asteroid's not coming, coming to Earth. They switched the order of the solar system. Let's put Venus over here. All right, close it out. Spooky, Sam. spooky skeletons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Mariah. This is Matt. Don't forget to go to cremota.com. Oh. We have incredible flavors. Oh. Matt, tell them the flavors. Okay, we got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We have the Tahitian Vanilla. My favorite. We also got my favorite, the House Blend. And there's also the Sweet Butter Hazelnut. And what, did, mm. what did they just come out with? They also just came out with a really cool line of... <laughs> Hey, of, of, of espresso flavored stuff. <laughs> they, Some of that. The espresso is unreal. It's, have you tried? Have you actually tried it? Or I no? did have a little sip. Okay, you gotta we'll, have. We'll, you gotta we'll have make a. a I don't yeah. know. Coffee's gonna make me crave nicotine. <laughs> that's, I'm kidding. That's actually what got Heath off the jewel. Was looking. He, he just started doing black iced coffee, and that's how he got addicted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, better, I mean, it's better being addicted to coffee. Yeah, it's it's something. There you go. Anyway. All right, complete. Right, where can they uh, listen and watch? You can these listen episodes? and watch at um, Apple, Spotify, um, Pandora, Pandora's. Um, and when we post on this, we post. They they come up on Mondays. But if you're on the Patreon, <laughs> you get a couple. <laughs> <of Patreon. laughs> but if you if you subscribe to the Patreon, it's five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. <laughs> Go to the Patreon. We put it up a couple days early. Sometimes I'm a little late. I get tired. I fall asleep at the computer. Whatever. <laughs> Cut me a break. I've exposed it before. You've seen it. <laughs> um, come to the Patreon. We chat sometimes. Sometimes I hack it. 
Um, sometimes Matt hacks it and come talk and hang out, see the episode early. Bonus. We get bonus episodes. We have high and drunk episodes that I'm not a part of, but it is worth it to watch. I know everybody watches it because of me, but... But hey, maybe maybe one day we'll get her uh, on this high. <laughs> yeah, not after this addiction conversation. <laughs> yeah. And we upload the audio form every Monday and video form every Tuesday on YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. Very good. Incredible. Uh, let me try that again. <laughs> let me let me start that all over. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That, that was, was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, what are you doing after school? <laughs> you think that sounded are you, good? Are you you're not going to the dance, are you? <laughs> First time doing morning announcements. You got a real knack for <laughs> presenting. Right, we love okay. you guys. Bye guys. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>